Today we're in Portugal. It's unusual for um, both members of Complete Car E to be uh, on the road, but we are indeed. Um, hiya, by the way, Paddy here. Um, yeah, we're looking at the new Kia Rio. Um, Shane, first impressions? Good. It looks fantastic. Absolutely. It feels a different league to the previous car in terms of quality as well and ambience and all that. Um, it's quite a light super mini. It's okay on the road. Uh, this version's a bit underpowered, but you know the market doesn't demand anything more. It's funny. I mean, it's styling-wise, I think what we're seeing definitely more of uh, Peter Schreier's work at the front. Ab absolutely. I mean, you can see those, see the lights. You've got a real devil's horn effect. You got the new tiger grill there. It's really attractive, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's a much better looking car overall. I, certainly, what, what they're saying to us is that the petrol engine will be the big seller. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of power, though. I know we're on some fairly twisty mountain stuff, but it's uh, it's pretty gutless. Yeah, that's one point two. I think it's eighty five horsepower we have. Um, it does feel a bit slow here. Then again, these car, this car is brand new. You know, off the off the line, very low mileage. We'll see what it's like back home. Yeah, I mean, if if the pricing is right, which we know it is, and we're starting sort of in and around the 14, 15 grand mark, um, it's got to be a, a decent enough seller, especially given, you know, seven-year warranty, probably a Bluetooth and air conditioning and that sort of stuff. Yeah, I mean, Kia recently has been doing a lot with that, a lot of really good equipment, a standard. Uh, the pricing's out spot on, and the warranty's very, very tempting. 